Tonight we're gonna do a quick guacamole recipe. So this one's like the best. Francisco makes this very, very well. So I'm just gonna video him doing it. So we've got two ripe avocados. We've got a couple of limes, a couple of tomatoes, some coriander and a red chili that's actually frozen. So it's just defrosting there. So that's the ingredients. Let's get started. Step one, chop up the coriander into little bits. Next, take the stone out of the avocado, hopefully without injuring yourself. Ooh, that one came out pretty well. Let's see if this one works as well. Looks pretty ripe. Technique. Next step is take the middle out of the avocado, which shouldn't be too hard being as it's quite ripe. Once you've got all the good bits out of the middle of the avocado, you then need to mush it all up. This can be done using a fork, or maybe you could use a blender for this. I think if you used a blender it would be too mushy because it needs, it needs to have still some texture to it. So first add a little bit of salt. Give it a stir. Taste it. Just like MasterChef. <laughs> then add the coriander. Now chop up the chilli. This chilli is not very hot. And a red chilli that came out of the freezer. This also gives it a bit of colour. And next, a bit of lime juice. Oh, that looks a juicy lime. Yeah. So the tomato needs chopping up into fairly small pieces like this, which is a bit fiddly to do. Put the rest of the lime juice in with the tomato now. So here we go, the final product. Nice pale green colour with some bits of red from the tomato. I'm going to give it a try. Get a little bit of tomato as well there. Mm, that is delicious. It's a really, really nice guacamole. And we are going to have that with these nachos from Sainsbury's, which are handily marked as being vegan. Step one with the salsa is to put the um, Nearly as stems. Coriander. Yeah, you can take the leaves off and then just put all the stems and everything in here because when they're blended up, they, they just taste the same. So put the coriander in and the chilli. I won't worry too much about seeds because it ain't hot one bit. Crack the lid on. pretty well chopped up in there and we just add the tomatoes in tomatoes are just roughly chopped so that they fit in the blender which isn't that big an extra tomato in there so yeah just rough chop it chopped but not like mush so the texture is quite important with this and then add some more lime next thing to add a bit of salt into the salsa and also a bit of pepper from Sergeant Pepper the pepper mill here <laughs> 
smile, Sergeant Pepper. Eee. So after it's been seasoned with the salt and pepper, add some lime juice. Sunday night snack of guacamole, salsa, and tortilla chips. <coughs> ah, I want to get out some hummus as well, but that's bought from the supermarket. <laughs> this guacamole and salsa is so much better than the stuff that you can buy at the supermarket. The hummus, I think, is the supermarket stuff's better than anything I could make, but these two, they're definitely worth making yourself fresh. <coughs> 